everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. It is Tuesday the 2nd of June and thank you for joining me on my weighing results. So I've had a really good food optimising week and weekend, really focused, I've had a lot of speed food. So yeah, it's been all good. I even had a couple of SP days. I had one on Friday and I had one on Saturday. Um, I was um, blogging the SP food diary on Friday, but um, I had a bit of a technical issue, so I had to stop the recording, get that fixed. So I did a take two on Saturday for an SP food diary. So yeah, so uh, it went really well actually. Um, I was a bit nervous doing the SP, you know. I thought, you know, you know, am I going to last without my carbs and all that? But I did it. So jobs are good. And now I fancied a pizza on my SP day. Now I know you can use your healthy B, your pita bread. Um, your Weight Watcher wraps, or you can have your Tesco Free From wraps. Um, but I thought I'd um, shake it up a little, you know, and use a aubergine for a pizza base. So I've got an aubergine, I sliced it lengthways, I managed to get two pizza bases out of it. You could have got more, but what was left over, um, I chopped it up, fried it off, and popped it in a salad for Sunday. So and that was really nice as well. And if you're on an SP day, an aubergine is a speed food. So yeah, so it bulks it all out, doesn't it? But yeah, so win-win. So what I did with the bases, bases, <laughs> bases, um, I fried them off gently. Um, well, not gently, lightly, lightly browned them. But what I'll do next time, I'll pop them under the grill because they're a bit squidgy. But still tastes nice though. And then I added tomato puree, um, mushrooms. What I did, I fried my mushrooms off a little bit and popped them on there. Cooked chicken, and then I got my cheese, for my cheese allowance, 40 grams. Well, more than four, isn't it? 40 grams. <laughs> um, but I've got a little tip from Vicky Simkiss, and she says if you want it a bit further, use a fine grater. So yeah, so that's what I did. So yeah, well, I know it's good, isn't it? And then, um, I grated a little bit more and popped them in little um, containers and then I freezed it. So yeah, so all good. I think you can be freezed or frozed, <laughs> frozed um, for up to two to three months. But um, double check anyway, you know, on Google. So the wonders of the Google, eh? Yes, yeah, so um, yeah, but that was really good. Um, I even had pork as well. Oh my God. It's like Marmite, isn't it? You either love it or hate it. Now I love Marmite and quark. It tastes really nice. Um, I added a little bit of sweetener, um, but not enough to sin. I only had a couple of teaspoons. So yeah, so it was really tasty. Um, I made a cheesecake as well. Um, I used 20 grams of Cheerios or multi-grain hoops that you get in Aldi. And I um, blended them up in the blender, obviously. <laughs> or you can crush them up with a rolling pin in the bag. And then I used that as a base, but what I did, I added one tablespoon of Sweet Freedom Caramel Syrup. Now for one tablespoon, it's two sins, but please check on the app just to reassure yourselves and just to protect your own weight loss journey. Pop that in with the um, crushed Cheerios or multigrain hoops, just to make it a bit firmer. Popped it into a glass, but the bottom of the glass, obviously. <laughs> then your quark and then sliced strawberries or whatever fruit you want really for your cheesecake. Popped it in the fridge and yeah I tell you it was really tasty, very nice. I'll be making that again. I got a box of grape nuts the other day so um, I'm going to make a cheesecake out of that at um, some point. So yeah so all good. So yes yeah, so I did a few food diaries last week. Um, I hope it helped you you know with your plan, whatever plan you know you're doing. Um, but it helps me as well stick on you know focus and Stay on, stay on track, stick on track, stay on track, eh, track, get your words out, Stephanie. Put my teeth back in, I'm all good. Anyway, so yeah, so um, a lot of exercise as well. I've done a lot of walking. Um, we're walking down the canal, myself and my older daughter. Um, we went to the cemetery, did what we had to do there, tidy up and everything, put fresh flowers down. And yeah, it was really, really good. Absolutely loved it. I'm absolutely loving my new Fitbit really i do recommend it i really do i'll leave a link in the description below it's really good now the one thing i like about it well i like about it a lot of things but there's one little thing when you reach your ten thousand steps there's a little disco ball that shows up on your watch and um and it shines up ten thousand um, i don't know if i mentioned it before but yesterday when i did my ten thousand 
um, it was a little dynamite, a little stick of dynamite, and when it exploded, a little flag turned up and it shined 10,000. Yeah, it's really good. I know, little things, eh? But yeah, so yeah, I recommend this, I really do. So, and I like the colour as well, you know, it goes with anything really. So yeah. So, but yeah, all good. Jobs are good in. So, Wayne results. Duh. Now, last week, let's get my little plaque ready. Last week, um, I had a gain of one pound, and that was after my lockdown birthday, which I really enjoyed. And by the way, thank you so much for the birthday messages on here and on my Instagram and on my Facebook. So I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. So a pound gain last week, and it took me to 10 stone, three pound. This week, I stepped on the scales and I had a loss of one pound. So yes, yeah, so a loss is a loss, you know, slow and steady. I mean, I want to do my best now, you know, persevere with it and um, not rush too much, you know, like I said, you know, slow and steady, you know. Because if you rush into these things, it's just going to go um, up in the air, isn't it, really? So yeah, so, so this is my hundred and... 23rd week, I've got my notes written down, <laughs> as you do, just to keep on track. My 100, oh yeah, week 123, um, I now weigh 10 stone, 2 pound, and altogether I've lost 6 stone, 7 pound. So yeah, so I'm happy with that, I really am. So, so anyway, today we went on well, I went on to Zoom. Now, I didn't go on last week, but I went on it today and uh, we spoke about a lot of things. And uh, we also played a game. And I'll come back to that in a minute. Let me just have a drink, excuse me. Oh, yummy. So, right, um, our Slim World consultant was mentioning about um, the Slim World um, Lifeline online. Well, there was 11 members of us, 11, 11 of us today on on Zoom, including our lovely consultant, Sarah. So, yeah, so she's talking about um, the, obviously, we've got the new app now on our phone. And, um, and obviously, now we've got the new app on the um, Lifeline. So, when I logged in today, he said, you know, log into the new one. So, I did and update and everything. So, yeah, so it's really good. And she's on about um, a new recipe book that's coming out. Well, it's already out, actually. It's called Passion. I need to put my glasses on. My eyesight is not very good at the moment. Oh, that's better. I can see. Oh, hello. <laughs> so, yeah, so um, it's called um, Passion for Pasta and Noodles. And it's £4.95. Now, um, she wasn't sure, bless her, if it was a free postage or anything like that. And so I looked online, uh, oh, sorry, I can't keep them on because it's blurry when I'm looking at you, but it's blurry when I'm looking at the pad, I know, weird. Um, so yeah, so I looked online and I ordered a book, um, so Passion for Pasta and Noodles, 4 95 like I said, and it's free postage and packaging. However, if you order more books, or hi-fi bars, and bulk hi-fi bars, hi-fi bars, then obviously I think there's a charge, so um, but I'll leave a little um, description below anyway. So we've got a little comment in the description below, so to explain it. That's if you are following Slim World and you've got a group and all that. So, but I'm sure your consultant will explain that to you anyway. So yeah, so what it is, there's a few little um, recipes they've given up on the line. What's in this book? Get your words out. Calm down. Slow down. And begin. There's one called Beef Meatball Bake with Feta. Never tried feta cheese. So, uh, you know, trial and error, see what happens. Another one is Five Spice, Five Spice Pork Ramen Bowl, which is free on the plan. I think the Beef Meatball Bake Feta, I think it's sinned because it didn't say online, you know, in brackets, it says if it's free or not and anything. Yeah, anyway. So there's another one called lentil naze. So instead of bolognese, it's lentil naze. And it's free and it's vegan friendly. And then you've got another one called zesty salmon pasta, which is free on the plan. So yes, yeah, so I've ordered that. 
so when that comes on you know i'll show you and you know see what happens and have a look at it because i do like my pasta and i do like my noodles however if you're, if you're on um an sp day you can't have that kind of stuff so but um yeah but i do like my pasta and my noodles so yeah so um we're talking about that she's also mentioned about um on the life online about how to making your own ice cream as well and it's m not more than four and a half sins but just double check yourselves so yeah so but yeah interesting really so we went through um like awards and well not awards um our our weights you know with our gains and our maintains and our losses and everything and yeah it went really well and then she said to us because when we um give our results in the day before which was yesterday because obviously she has to all log it in a certain time to head office she messaged us back you know with our password and everything what we have to do to log into zoom and said bring a pen and paper with you so we did and we played family fortunes <laughs> it was really good obviously you can't be as a group so it's individual and um, the questions that she asked, um, there's five answers, well, there's, you've got a top answer, and then you've got, well, you've got five answers all together. Obviously, the top one is five points, then four, three, two, one. So, I'll tell you the questions, okay, and uh, yeah, give you the answers, right, so, okay, right. They are, they're asking 100 Slim World consultants, yeah, what, were their, what was their favourite free food? Now, I put grapes. Now, the answer was, the top answer was pasta. Then it was eggs, potatoes, chicken, and steak. So, yeah, so I thought grapes would be on there, you know. So, these are giving me a headache. I need mean, really a girl with good cushions. I really do. Anyway, so, yeah, so, yeah, I can see it better now. Bigger writing. <laughs> anyway, um, so that was the first um, question. Second question, <coughs> excuse me. Second question was, um, we asked 100 Slim World consultants, what was their favourite speed food? Now, you know me, and all the other members said, oh, we know what the Stephanie's going to be putting, splendid spinach. And yes, I did. <laughs> now, the top answer for that was strawberries. So, you know, five points for strawberries. And then four points, tomatoes. Mushrooms were three points. Raspberries, two points, and melon was one point. Splendid spinach was not on there. Oh my god, oh, itchy nose. But yeah, so I was just, you know, quite shocked. So, you know me, I love my splendid spinach, I really do. If you do, let me know in the comments below. You know, either give it a thumbs up or thumbs down. So, yeah, so excuse me for a minute. Oh god, I've got a proper itchy nose. So, yeah, so the next question is. We asked a hundred consultants, similar consultants, what their favourite healthy A was. And I was thinking, right, okay, what would it be? What would the most popular be? You know, you know, thinking milk. Mm. So I put cheese. And the top answer was cheese. Yay! So I would have bought myself five points for that. So it's cheese, milk, halloumi. Is that a cheese? I don't know. Let me know. Um, feta, I know that's a cheese. And um, I do apologise about this. Is it Primella? Primella? It's that squirty cheese you get. So I think I've used that once with nachos. So um, obviously the Slim World base. But yeah, Primella, I don't know. But yeah, so that was number one. So yeah, the top answer was cheese. So I've got points for that. The next one was, um, we asked 100 consult Slim World consultants what their favourite healthy B was. I put porridge oats. And the top answer was oats. Yay! So I got another five points for that. So the second one was high fibre, wholemeal bread, Weetabix, and yo, 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 Weight Watchers wrap. Yes, I know, I just wrapped. Oh, God, help me. So yeah, so then the, <laughs> the next um question was oh my god i couldn't stop smiling about this it's so funny um we asked 100 slim world consultants um their favorite body magic so we all had a bit of a giggle <laughs> um the top answer was walking and that's what i put i put walking yay 
Yeah, so uh, where is it? Yeah, walk in. So, focused? Yeah. So, walking, then running, then jogging, then swimming. And uh, the last one was energetic romance. So, yeah. So, says it all, doesn't it? But, yeah, so that was the last one. Um, the next one was um, what was their favourite fry light? Um, I put garlic, and the answer was garlic, then olive oil, butter, sunflower, and chilli. Now, talking about fry light, I was in um, B&M yesterday with my eldest daughter, and I was, went in, did a few bits, coming out, and I spotted stir-fry fry light. So, I don't know if it's been out for a while, but it's the first time I've seen it, and it's £1.49 in B&M. So, uh, yeah, interesting, eh? And I do like my stir fries, so mm, one to buy, I think. So, yeah, so the next question was, we asked 100 Slimwell consultants um, what was their favourite hi-fi bar. Now, I put fruit and nut because I really like that. And, um, oh, let me just turn the page. The top answer was fruit and nut. So I've got another five points for that. Then the next one was peanut, peanut butter, lemon meringue, salted caramel, and mint. So the next question was uh, their favourite Slim World recipe book. Now I couldn't remember the beginning of it, but I know I had the number five. So um, obviously it was take five. So top answer was take five. Yay! It's another five points. So it was take take five. Bake Away, 50 Golden Grapes, Curry Club, and Best Love Extra SPs, I think it was. So, yes, yeah, so, so I've got another five points for that. Um, and then the next question was their favourite, um, favourite store, favourite store, favourite cupboard um, staple. And um, I put Worcestershire sauce. You can't go wrong there, can you, really? You can put it in bolognese, chilli, stews, casseroles. The top answer was soy sauce. Oh my God. I know, I was shocked too. And then it was passata, stock cubes, fry light, and tin tomatoes. So, uh, but yeah, no Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. I know, shocking. So, and then the last one was uh, what we asked 100 Slimworld consultants what their favourite website and app um, with Slimworld. And I put food diary, and the top answer was food search. Duh, isn't it? You know, it's obvious, you know, you want to know what, how many sins and stuff like that, and if it's free and stuff. So, um, but that was the top answer. The next one was the food plan, I like the food diary. So I got four points for that. Then recipes, then sin calculator, and then features. So we tallied all our answers up and everything. Each, you know, each of us tallied all our answers. And some come in with 26 and 28 and 27 and 29. And I came in with 33. And I won! Woo! So Sarah said, we'll send you something out in the post. Where I was like, yay! Yay me! Thank you! So yeah, so, but it's not, you know, winning's not everything. It's taking part that counts. But that's what I like about Zoom. I mean, I was doubting it a little bit to begin with. You know, last week I didn't want to go on it because it's just like, you know... I don't know, it's just the same old, same old kind of thing. But Sarah, our consultant, she does her best. She really does. And I do appreciate her. So, you know, so she's really a top-notch lady. And um, with the games like that, you know, you could play bingo. We do that on our, you know, our actual group. We play bingo and she reads this little story uh, around Christmas. We have to pass this um, food around or this little parcel and open up this little gift. But the family fortunes, I say it, it's really, really good. Um, let me know if your consultants do that, if you are following Slim World Plan. Yeah, so it's really, really good. So, um, yeah, that's it, really. Um, we're talking about sauces as well, about um, quark. You know, someone makes, a, makes it a mint sauce out of it, or um, they put it in with their food and stuff like that, and on their salads and stuff. And I have found this. Now, I was watching the lovely... Um, Craig and Michael on the two Simbries. Um, if you're not following them, 
oh please do they are so so lovely and so funny and i saw craig and michael um having this on their salad it's hellman's and it's fat free and it's vinaigrette and it's got oh, i can't see that glasses oh i can see <laughs> Um, so fat free vinaigrette, get the words out, vinaigrette with red pepper and herbs and it is sin free, it's free on the planet, it really is, so um, I have double checked but like I said, to protect your own weight loss journey, please check all sin values just to protect your own journey. So yeah, so and you know what, you don't, I mean, it's a little bit, you can put a little bit on, but I don't think it's enough, so, but Morrison's, a pound usual price £1.65 so it's on offer at the moment in Morrison's I can't find it in Asda and I can't find it in Tesco's I've not looked in Sainsbury's um but yeah but Morrison's a pound a bottle so me being me you know thinking you know all oh, the prices are going to go back up and all that you know I'll get a few in so yeah so I got a few the other day and then I got a few more yesterday so I've got about five <laughs> in the cupboard so yeah so you know, don't worry, I left some for other customers on the shelf, so don't panic about that. You know, I took the last one and then I pulled the cardboard little shelf forward with more. So yeah, so, but it does taste really yummy. If you've tried it, let me know what your thoughts of it or whatever. And let me know what sauces or dressings you use, you know, if it's sin-free or low in sins. You know, it'd be nice to share, so, you know, any ideas. Anyway, that's it. Anything, everything covered? Yes, yes, it's all covered, it's all sorted. So yeah, so jobs are good in. So I'm gonna love you and leave you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. And as always, oh yeah, <laughs> I completely forgot Slim of the Week. <laughs> oh my dars, I'm just rambling on dars, days. Slim of the week this week was the lovely Debbie. She's my friend. Um, I helped her get onto the group, bless her. Um, she was doing it at home. But she was slim of the week this week. And she lost £4 this week. So she's only £2 away for her three and a half stone award. So well done, Debbie. So yeah, so anyway, oh, rewind now, Stephanie. As I was saying, I'm going to love you, leave you. Again, get it right now, Stephanie. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the notification bell for more upcoming videos. And as always, <laughs> keep smiling, stay positive, and take care. And I will see you soon. Bye for now.